It was a, a great year. My second year in the NFL, my first year in Pittsburgh, they had a great team, but we fell a little bit short. The second year, you could just tell in training camp that everything was back, and we got off to a great start, ran off seven games in a row, lost one, and I think we won five or six more in a row. But we were rolling, and uh, it was a great feeling. And going through the playoffs and getting to the Super Bowl, I can remember going out to warm up in the Orange Bowl in Miami and saying, you know, I've watched all these games before. Now here I am in the Super Bowl. Everybody's watching, and uh, we're on the biggest stage in the world. And it, it was an unbelievable feeling. But something I'll never forget from that game, our chapel service, the, the morning of the game, the speaker talked about Super Bowls being seen as the ultimate, but really they're not. It's kind of a mirage because there's always one next year. And sure enough, we won the game, we beat Dallas, and we're in the locker room celebrating. And I'm in with some very famous guys. Rocky Blair's right next to me, Franco Harris. I'm, I'm right in the middle of these lockers, and the reporters are coming up to these guys. Can you win it again next year? Can you three-peat? And all this. And uh, I thought about it, and I said, you know, that chapel speaker was right. You get there, and you think it's the ultimate achievement. And before it's even over, there's other questions and other things, and, and that was the lesson that I learned from it, to keep it in perspective, that playing football is great, winning the Super Bowl is great, but it's not the most important thing in the world.